Welcome back guys to Kids Coding Playground. So today we'll be working on the fifth part, I believe, for the Apple Dash game we've been working on. So in this uh, video, we will be working on the pig skin. Look, we have, you can switch skins. And if we have time, um, we might work on the force field as well. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Let's get started. So before we start, we're going to just go look through the code. So you can get anything you missed to make sure that you guys have everything right. So here we have the um, player, and then we have the bomb. So this is the bomb, movement of the bomb. If the bomb explodes, this will happen if it hits the player. The health, this is, if you hit a bomb, you'll lose health. The basket, to catch the fruit. Um, and then we have the fruit. Fruit one, this is all the fruit there. That, and then the begin button, this is just to click it so you can start the game. The coin, this is the currency of the game, he uses to buy upgrades. Okay. Okay. So you got all this down. And the hitbox for the bottom when the fruit touch it. The shop, this is if you hover your mouse over it, it'll get bigger and smaller. When you click it, this will broadcast a message called shop. And here we have the shop background, so the, shop, the background and the shop are different. The normal background and the shop background are two different backdrops. We have the exit button, so if you want to exit or something. It's just, um, this is the same thing as the shop. When you hover, it'll get bigger. When you click it, it'll go back. Okay. We have the wings upgrade to make you go quicker. Okay. Let's go on the side. This is to check the purchase of the wings, and we have one more script right here. Okay. Let's go to the basket. I'll zoom in so you have a better look at it. Basket code. The larger basket. This is going to make your basket bigger. And, okay, today we'll be working on the pig to add to uh, let the player have the option of switching the skin. So, First, we're just going to drag and drop this code into the pig. It's really simple. Just drag and drop the shop thing. We're going to just duplicate all this. Uh, so, we have it right here. Okay, so we have to change some stuff right here. So, on my previous one, I had 6085 as the coordinates. And right here, this should all be the same. This um, should be the same as well. Just keep this all, but we have to broadcast another message. We're going to call it check. Check, check skin purchase. Check skin purchase. That's what we're gonna do. This all, all this code will be the same. All we have to do is receive the message. When I receive the um, check skin purchase, we are going to get an if else statement. So we're gonna have to make a new variable first. So we're gonna name it um, skin purchase status. This is to check if it's bought status, okay? So we're going to hide the variables. So we're going to get an if else right now. So if, um, so we're going to go to equal. So if the pig character status, pig uh, skin purchase status is equal to unlocked. So let's say you've already unlocked the skin and bought it. Then we will broadcast a message called switch skin. Switch to pig skin. To pig skin. I'm gonna name it like that. And then we're gonna stop the script. So this this is if it has already been bought. And down here, we're gonna check if the player has enough money to purchase it or not. So we're gonna get if else statement. If then else. So we're gonna go if. Money is equal to or greater than 100, so we're gonna, I'm going to price it as 100. Um, you can price it at any cost you want, just make it a bit reasonable. So if it's uh, greater than or equal to 100, so 100, 100. So if the money is greater than or equal to 100, so we have the variable money. Money, just put that into the first slot and the money right here. And then we're going to change the money by negative 100. So you lose the money after you buy it. Money by minus 100. 
and then we're going to set the uh, skin status to unlocked. Uh, skin purchase status, we're going to set it to unlocked once you have bought it. And then after that, we're going to switch the costume to costume 2, which is the grayed out one, the purchased one. That means you've already purchased it, so we're going to switch the costume to costume 2. And after this, we're going to broadcast the message, the switch to pig skin uh, message. <clears throat> okay, and then in the else right here, if they do not have enough money and do not buy it, then we're going to set the pig character status, the skin purchase status to locked. So it's not, you're not going to be able to buy it. <clears throat> and then we're going to switch the costume to one, the first costume, the one that has not been purchased yet. Uh, put this like that. Okay, so now we have the script. <laughs> okay, so I could have actually just drag and dropped this code in here and changed some of the variables, but I just wanted to show you step by step. You guys can do that if you want. Okay, so in the person in the pig, we're gonna get when I receive start game or start game right here. Okay, start game. Then we're going to hide. Okay. So also in here, let's see if we did. Yeah, we already did this. Okay. I was just trying to check if we did that in here. So we have to also put start game for these. And then um, we're also going to get a one receive start screen. Receive start screen. Then we're going to hide. We're going to hide. And we're going to set it to locked. So you cannot buy it yet, and switch it to costume one. Set skin purchase status to locked, and we're going to switch the costume to costume one. Like that, okay? And then one more script in here, and then we can move on to maybe the option where you can switch back to the ghost skin. And then we're gonna get a when I receive starts uh, when I receive check the skin purchase check skin purchase. We're going to get an if then statement, so we're going to get if the skin is unlocked, so we're going to equal if the skin purchase status is equal to unlocked, so if it's already bought, unlocked, then we're going to forever, go to control, and hide that variable, forever. We're going to switch costume to costume two, so it will be grayed out. It will always be the second costume. All right. So this is the pig's uh, code. So this is just like the cosmetic stuff. And then right here we have the uh, the script to see if it's locked and you can buy it and stuff like that. And then right here we have <clears throat> the starting and resetting stuff like that. Okay, now let's go into our last sprite. So this is to what the option. Let's say maybe you want to uh, switch the costume um, back to the ghost. Let's say you don't like the pig and you bought it, then you switch it back to the ghost. So this is what we're going to do. So we can drag and drop this script, this shop script, into the ghost. So do that real quick. All right. So the place I set it to is negative 175, negative 25. Those are the coordinates I put. And I'm going to keep all this same thing, and we're going to broadcast another message. We're going to broadcast a message called switch to, to ghost sprite. Switch to ghost sprite. And in here, we're also going to get the same thing. We can just drag and drop this script right here, the start game, and the start screen. And oops, okay. I got the two scripts, and we will not need this right here. Let's take that out. Okay, so now we have to switch to Ghost Sprite. We're probably we're gonna go into the player. So inside the fruit catcher or player, we're gonna receive a message. So when I receive, um, switch to Ghost. Switch to Ghost Sprite. Oh, we are going to uh, switch costume. Uh, switch costume to the 
root capture one, which is the this guy. And we're actually gonna have to upload a pig costume into this, so then we can have a second sprite for the co second skin. So right now we're going to go back here. We're gonna switch costume to the fruit catcher or the ghost, and then we're gonna set, we're gonna make a new variable. We're gonna name it character to keep track of what it has. I think we already made it, or it already came with it because I just um, dragged the sprite in. So we're gonna use the character sprite. If you have not made it, make it. And then we're going to set the character to ghost. Character to ghost. Ghost. And then um, in here. Okay, so now we're going to get the pig sprite. Okay, so I finally got my um, pig costumes from, the, from another game I had. So we have the pig one, and we're going to get another pig, so one is the angry pig and the other one is the smiling pig um so the angry pig is if you get hit by a bomb it will switch that costume so inside the script right here we are going to when i receive um switch to the pig costume we're going to get i want to receive switch to pig skin we are going to switch the costume to costume two which is the pig one switch costume to costume 2 and we are going to set the character the variable set character to maybe pick okay. all right okay so now that we've got all our code for the player let's start the game so you click begin so when you click s in the shop you go to the shop as you can see the pig sprite is right there, and the ghost sprite is always available, um, because it's free. And I'm just gonna give myself, like, 100, 100 money for now, so I can buy the pig skin. It'll take a while. Okay, let's buy it. As you can see, the costume has switched to the pig. I might have to recenter the, um, basket a little bit. But now, as you can see, the costume has become a pig. Mm. So inside the basket, maybe since it, uh, maybe like move it down a little bit, like right here. I don't know how the ghost would look like on it. I'm gonna see. Uh, so that doesn't look that great. So I'm just gonna keep what I had before. So. Maybe you can, uh, center, and go up, so it was like about right here, so, I think that should be okay, okay, alright, I set the money to 100, I'm gonna, See, as you can see, it looks fine. I, I recentered it to look a little better. Let's go to the shop and let's buy this. So, once we have the pig, let's go back to the shop and switch back to the ghost. As you can see, it just switched back to the ghost. Now the costume is back to a ghost. Alright, so now you can switch skins and all of that. So, today we worked on the pig's icon to purchase the pig. The, um, switching back the skin and the pig skin. So yeah, I think that should be it for today's tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Kids Coding Playground, and we'll see you guys in the next tutorial.